Nas here. So I'm back with another video. Yes, because after a few days, I upload ulit. Currently, we're still in the process of enrollment. Hindi pa kami nakakapag enroll Kami yung 4th year BSND. Because may something pa sa tuition fee. Hindi pa siya napa-finalize. Because may ibabawas pa sila or idadagdag. Kaya hindi kami makapag enroll Kasi pwede naman mag enroll Kaso kasi, kapag may idadagdag sila, another buy na naman. Might as well wait. Pero kasi by August 10 pa or Monday. Tapos ang pasukan 12. Sana mag-reflect agad kasi laking hassle pag hindi siya nag-reflect agad. Today I'll just be uh... <laughs> Today I'll just be discussing with you one of the subjects that I had encountered sa third year, specifically third year for SEM. Without further ado, let's get started. Or yung subject na i-discuss ko sa inyo na bibigyan ko kayo ng di ako ano siya is yung nutrition care process. So ano nga ba ang nutrition care process? Yung nutrition care process based sa book, it is the systematic problem-solving method that dietetics practitioners use to uh, critically think and make decisions to address nutrition-related problems and provide safe, effective, and high-quality nutrition care. So ano nga ba ang purpose ng um, NCP? So by providing nutrition care, we can influence and change yung uh, factors na nagko-contribute sa imbalances sa nutritional status ng patients or clients natin. Thus, restoring the nutritional um, health ng patients and clients natin. So as I said in my previous video, um, there are four steps sa nutrition care process. First is yung nutrition assessment. Second is yung nutrition diagnosis. Third is yung nutrition intervention. And fourth is yung nutrition monitoring and evaluation. Bakit nga ba may NCP? Gusto kasi ng mga RNDs na magkaroon ng standardized language which means yung uniform termino terminology na ginagamit to describe practice. So having this standardized language with the use of NCP it won't be very difficult for RNDs to communicate consistently with each other and other health professionals. So by having this standardized um, language and terminology, makakonek-konek ng mga RNDs yung mga data na meron sila logically and systematically. So bakit nga ba kailangan natin ng NCP? So NCP, as you should know, is a standardized process na ginagamit to provide care and not a standardized or generic care. Ibig sabihin, NCP is not a one-size-fits-all. With this standardized process, we could achieve a high-quality nutrition care for individuals. Kailangan natin ng NCP kasi it also increases the R&D's potential to provide high-quality nutrition care to individuals. So, paano nga natin ma-achieve yung high-quality nutrition care? So, we could achieve that by combination of the steps of NCP and also the incorporation of evidence-based practice guides or yung mga evidence-based approach. Critical thinking also uh, enhances the quality care Dahil dito, ini-integrate natin yung facts, inform opinions, active listening, and observation. So, let's proceed sa steps ng NCP. So, first is yung nutrition assessment. Dito tayo nag update nag-verify, and nag-interpret ng mga data para magkaroon tayo ng pagbabasihan ng nature and cause of the nutrition-related problems na nararanasan ng patient or ng client natin. Dito rin tayo nag evaluate ng data with the use of reliable source or standards. Kasi diba, as I said earlier, evidence-based approach tayo. And dito din tayo nagka-calculate ng estimated nutrient needs because we need to check if the diet of our um, patient or client that we obtain from the diet history is adequate, excessive, or inadequate. Need natin i-check if yung mga macro and micronutrients niya is adequate, excessive, or inadequate. So itong nutrition as uh, assessment, it has five domains. Food and nutrition related history, anthropometric measurements, biochemical data, medical tests and procedures, nutrition focus and focus physical findings, and client history. So second is your nutrition diagnosis. So dito na tayo uh, mag-identify and mag-label ng actual occurrence ng mga nutrition problem. Itong nutrition diagnosis din ang nagliling sa nutrition assessment and sa nutrition intervention. Itong nutrition diagnosis, iba siya sa medical diagnosis. Why? Ang nutrition diagnosis kasi, it focuses on the nutrition issues that may be consequence of or contributes to diseases and ina-address din dito yung behavior behaviors that impact the food um, choices ng patients or clients natin. So, ang nutrition diagnosis, it has three domains. The intake, 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 clinical, behavioral, environmental. So, paano nga ba sinusulat yung nutrition diagnosis? So, we have this thing called... Tanahan ang Log. So, <laughs> so, we have this thing called PES. PES statements. 
P stands for problem, which is the which is the diagnostic label. E for etiology. Ito naman yung mga factors na nagko-contribute sa cause or existent ng existence ng nutrition problem. And S for signs and symptoms. So, ito yung galing sa data that you obtain na nagsasabi or nagpapatunay na there is a nutrition problem that exists. So, ano nga ba format yan dapat? So, ang format niyan is yung problem related to etiology as evidenced by signs and symptoms. So, dito din kayo magsaset ng goals that are practical for the patient and the client. And also, kapag gagawa kayo ng nutrition diagnosis, make sure to rank them. Kunyari, tatlo, dapat sa number one yung pinaka- um, important or yung pinaka need ng urgent na attention. Ganun. Third is yung nutrition intervention. Dito na kayo magpa-planning and implementing. Dito na kayo gagawa ng diet prescriptions. And yung diet prescription na gagawin nyo is dapat again, evidence-based and should be grounded by quality research. So yung nutrition intervention has four domains. These are food and nutrient delivery. Second is yung nutrient Nutrition education is sa mga subjects sa third year. Third is yung nutrition counseling. And fourth is yung coordination of nutrition care. So last step is the nutrition monitoring and evaluation. Dito na natin i-determine yung degree to which progress is being made. And dito natin minimeasure mga appropriate indicator to track progress towards the client's desired goal. Dito natin titignan if yung goal na naset natin do sa diagnosis is nami-meet siya. So yeah, that's the end of my video. Sana nagkaroon kayo ng kahit background knowledge man lang sa NCT. Gagamitin din siya sa MNT and gagamitin din siya sa sports nutrition and gagamitin siya sa future practices. This has been Naz and may your daily flawless as your makeup. Bye! Thank you.